It's a lovely sloppy day. Good puddles. Some nice wind rows in front of the house. Got the 4x4 Outback slash Legacy Wagon. Soon to be wide body. But today, you know, look at this. JDM bumper. But not really. Platinum Plus Kappa certified. What does that mean? This is not an OEM bumper. It is aftermarket. And it is not JDM. It is a North American model for a 2008 or 2009 legacy. And why did I buy that? Dirt cheap. Um, Kappa certified is okay. It doesn't fit as nice as OEM as I've experienced in the past working in auto body. But why I didn't buy a JDM bumper was I did not want to have to change my whole bumper beam and get all new um, splash shields and everything. And because this has never been done before and I think it'll work. So, what else do I got? Straight from the motherland, Russia, I got an OEM grill from a JDM Legacy. Will it fit? I've seen people get these fit before. It looks like it just might. You can see that little clip is in the wrong place. But this one here lines up with that hole. So I'll cut those off. And it's not too bad. So I'm hoping that this will save me a lot of headache when I do the front end conversion. And let's put this grill down. And one thing, when you're ordering a bumper, all you're getting is the bumper. You're not getting anything else. So you don't get any fog lights, no fog light covers, and none for the, um, the tow hook cover as well. So that all has to be ordered um, as well, which mostly like, which most likely I'll get OEM. I just haven't ordered it yet because I'm still not sure that this will work. Now the biggest thing I need to know is, is this shape right here the same shape as the JDM fender? Right here. I'm going to try and fit it, and I just don't know if I could do it with one hand. Let's see if I could get this up somehow. It's kind of staying. Get this back a bit. Maybe kind of an Okay, please don't fall. Oh, I should have did this from the beginning. Looks pretty good. Okay. Pretty darn good. You can see there might be some modification up front there. If I get this camera. But with it being fiberglass in this bumper, I really don't care if I have to cut it and shape it. So that's good. Let's see how the headlights fit. Again, JDM parts are not supposed to fit with the North American counterparts because they are so different. But let's grab this headlight. That's a good place to grab this. There may be no. Okay. Let's do something like this. Oh, this is difficult with one hand. Should get a camera guy. Okay, just give me a second. I'm gonna prop my camera down somewhere. 
Again, I'll say that's pretty close. Sorry for the weird camera angle. Remember, I still have the headlight bracket on here that will be taken off, and this bumper, like I said, it's not a perfect fit, it's not OEM. So I will need to use a heat gun to shape it. But all these look like they line up good, even back here. I'll try and lean back as best as I can to get the good fitment view. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Like I said, this will be some work. Oh yeah, I tried to grab some heaters to heat this garage up while I was working, but it didn't give off enough heat and they sure love to pop my breakers. So I have to wait till the summertime. But that's all I got so far and Hopefully next video I'll be I'll have to take apart the whole front end first to get it to check the fitment because I don't want to paint everything and then have to modify it later. So the best bet is to install the whole front end, do the trimming I need and the fitment uh, I need, and then I'll order my fog lights and all the parts once I know everything fits and do the rear flares as well. And install it all and figure out the wiring for the headlights and we'll be good and hoping hopefully I'll have this all done by the summer I'll take some good road trips and really curious to see how the JDM lights are at night with the HID and again I will be um, cleaning these up really good nice and clear and then we'll be talking about wheel options to fill out these nice fenders and the flares but I hope that was a good update for you guys. And yeah, I know the OEM grill is ugly, but again, it was dirt cheap. And I think I'm going to do something with the chrome. I think I might uh, wrap it uh, gloss black or maybe even uh, just with window tint. So you still see the chrome through it, but black. I think that'll look pretty good. But again... Just a little update for you guys, and thanks again for watching.